Black Friday and Cyber Week are fast approaching. Do you have your kiddos' wish lists ready to go? I'm here to give you eight-ish plus options for educational toys for the holiday season of 2021. I would so appreciate it if you would subscribe and hit that notification bell if you are interested in getting our content in your YouTube feed each and every week. And if you think this video is going to be helpful for you, would you please give it a thumbs up? I don't know how people wear red lipstick in the wild. I have already had to get red lipstick off my teeth twice in a span of doing just the intro. And I'm so scared because in last week's video, I had to film it twice, like the whole thing, because of red lipstick. Tis the season. Anyway, as a mama to my daughter Callie, who just turned six, and a teacher. Hi, if you're new here, I'm Chelsea. I live on Cape Cod and I teach English grades seven through 12 at a Cape Public School. I am all about a gift that doubles as fun, but also teaches something or encourages the teaching of something. I think it's worth repeating in this video that Callie is not a traditional like toy player like other kids might be. I've mentioned this on Instagram before and the feedback I got was overwhelming because moms were able to then identify their own children as non-traditional kids when it comes to what they like to do and play with. Don't get me wrong, Callie loves certain toys. When we go to the store, she's really interested in looking in the toy aisle, but when we ask her, is there anything you wanna bring home? Her answer is usually no. In the past, we have purchased traditional toys for Cal, and while there is an initial excitement, after a week or so, they end up just collecting dust and we either donate them, sell them, or pass them on to one of my nieces. Callie loves to read, craft, cook, dance, sing, act, and build things. So I tend to focus on these strengths for her when I think about what Santa might want to bring her for the holidays. For a live, in real time look at what I am shopping for and purchasing this holiday season, please be sure to follow us on Instagram so that you get kind of the first in live take on what I'm collecting this holiday season for her. Also, all of the products that I am mentioning today will be linked in the description box below. If you have a kiddo like mine or you are an educationally minded mama, keep on watching. I'm going to be putting up some pictures on the screen, so I want to give myself some room in the editing process. My first recommendation and one that I am so excited to pick up for Callie is the Tony Box. Have you seen these? This popped up on my Instagram feed. Also, the ads on Instagram have become so perfectly targeted, I'm not sure if I should be excited or scared. I started doing a little research after it initially popped up. I fell in love. The Tony Box is a screen-free sound machine that can play either music, lullabies, or tell stories depending on the block that's on top of the box. What hooked me here besides the screen free piece is that there are Disney blocks that you can bundle to put on top of the Tony box. And once you go onto the website, you'll be able to see that each block has a certain amount of stories or a certain amount of music and then a story attached to it. It also gives you the amount of minutes in runtime for each block. Also, the blocks are super cute. We are all about fostering independence for Callie, especially during her choice time on weekends. She has a tablet and she has an iPad that her school gives her, which has educational playlists on it, but we love the idea of a screen-free choice time where she still gets to engage with music and stories. She is totally the child to lay on her bed or sit in her reading nook, pop on a block and kind of daydream or imagine the stories as they're being told to her. The starter Tony box is $99 and then the blocks themselves run about 15 each. I did already forward along to grandparents and aunties the idea of purchasing a block for her from each of them so that she has a library to start her collection. 
I really like the pink one because I think it will go in her room, but again, it will be linked with the blocks we like in the description box below. Recommendation number two is a throwback to our childhoods. Do you remember the Etch-A-Sketch? For my artsy daughter, this is a quiet, independent, and time-filled way for her to practice using her motor skills and her imagination. Callie received an Etch-A-Sketch last year for Christmas, and she uses it still multiple times a week, including during car rides, and we had a travel one that we brought with us to Hawaii. Like every kid, one of her favorite things to do is to shake it to erase her own artwork. An Etch-A-Sketch would be a fantastic road trip activity, so if you know you're taking a trip, you could easily build this into like a gift basket for that specific trip. It's also very inexpensive and fun for parents too. My third recommendation is a little more general, and these are games, particularly board games. Of course, games can range in whatever your child is into as well as their age. One of our favorite games lately is Zingo. Zingo is a sight word game that Callie and I often play when I'm making dinner. It's one of those things that allows you to participate as an adult while also doing something else. But you can, of course, play with more than two people. What I like about the cards is that there's an easy side and a challenging side. Now, Callie's in kindergarten, so we're really focused on the easy side, but it's a fun game that is intense in speed and accuracy and that is actually helping Callie learn how to read. My mother-in-law also bought Callie a game called Shut the Door last Christmas, and this is a more math-based game. Callie loves it. She loves it so much that I've had to buy extra dice in order to make the challenge harder. And you'll notice in the description box that I'm also including some Disney-themed games, some for Callie, but also some for my husband, because we love a Craig family game night. I love the time together when we're playing games, and I also love the life lessons that games are teaching about how to win with grace, how it doesn't matter who wins, but also how to lose and then learn something from that. My fourth recommendation for you are puzzles. I am admittedly not a puzzle person, but I do love to foster that type of problem solving for Callie, and she loves puzzles. These are amazing for independent play, and something that I just discovered is that you can take a favorite photograph and then get it turned into a puzzle so that the puzzle can be specific to your child, a favorite place, or a specific memory for your family. What a sweet gift idea. My girl loves a craft. Modeling clay, paint, beads, fresh markers, coloring books. I found something a little more specific for her artistic budding talent that I almost bought for her last year and then it felt like I had too much, so I pared back. It's been on my wish list for her and it's the Smart Sketcher Kit 2.0. This little projector allows your kiddo to trace or follow along with different sketches, but there's also a built-in handwriting including cursive like skill set. You can also animate their work on this little device. There are 60 pre-built in activities on this little buddy and if you use the app, you can actually upload your own photos to then be traced, which I think is a really cool feature. I'm pretty excited to see what Callie's able to create with this. What is on your kiddo's wish list this year? And do you have a kid like mine who would prefer to do something with their toys rather than just play with them? Now, could this be a video about educational toys without Legos? No. My girly, just like my husband, thrives on building something. When Callie gets a new Lego set, and we're very into Disney princess sets, she and Mark follow the directions like with the bags, page by page. They take their time, they do it right. And then, to my organizational dismay, they take it apart and all the Legos go into this one tub. I want to separate them. She doesn't. They're her Legos. I'm backing off. But then she free builds 
very proudly with all pieces from the sets and somehow she remembers which pieces go to which set. It's mind boggling. Along the same lines as Legos are magnet tiles, blocks, tinker toys, anything that your child can use to build and create a world of their own. Callie, again, obviously loves Disney sets, so I will leave some of my favorite linked down below. Have you seen the National Geographic sets? I didn't know these existed. A friend of mine, because of my Instagram post, she texted me and said, oh, I'm thinking about getting this for my daughter, just wanted to throw it out there as something for your video. Absolutely brilliant. They have everything that your kid could be into. They have dinosaurs and fossils, they have geodes, rocks and minerals, they have space, they have volcanoes, and they have a science magic kit. Did Callie create this? They're all science-based. They're all STEM themed. So this is very much right up her alley. And I think for meant for a lot of different ages, as long as parents contribute to helping as well. And my eighth and final idea for you today actually comes from a previous purchase that I made for my niece. I think these are beautiful baby shower and birthday gifts as well. Slumberkins are an awesome gift because they help our kiddos with managing their social emotional intelligence. It's a combination of like a little snuggly stuffy animal and a book based on a theme. The whole goal is to help kids express and identify hard feelings. They have some awesome holiday sets right now, so I'll make sure that those are linked below. One of my favorites is the Narwhal set because he's so cute and it's all about growth mindset, which my firstborn stubborn daughter really needs. The website says that Slumberkins is dedicated to helping families raise caring, confident, and resilient children through affirmations, stories, and creature characters. I just think that these would be fantastic gifts for any of the kiddos in your life. And you can really personalize them with an emotion that you'd like to help reinforce. If you have additional examples, will you please post them in the comments below? I would love to shop your recommendations. And again, please make sure to check out the description box for links to all of these products. If you liked this video, will you please give it a thumbs up? I am so grateful for you being here. I hope you are having a magical start to this wonderful, beautiful season and that you are just snuggling your family in as much as you possibly can. I love you, thank you for being here and we will see you next week. Bye everybody.